In this video, we'll talk a bit more about what um, the characteristic polynomial gives us, what the eigenvalues give us about the matrix. So, first definition that we need is the trace of a matrix. So if I have an n by n matrix with entry a i j, um, the trace of the matrix is the sum of the diagonal elements and so in this case the trace of a would be the top left element and then I go down along the, the, the diagonal. And so that gives me the trace. Alright, so once you know the eigenvalue, so you have a special matrix, there are a couple of tricks you could play with. Um, first thing, if I know the eigenvalues, and let's say I have n of them, um, you can count them with multiplicity, so as long as your polynomial splits completely into linear terms. Um, so these are the eigenvalues. Then from knowing the eigenvalues, I could figure out what the trace is pretty easily. I can even find the determinant. Then trace of A would be lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda n. And the determinant of A would be the product. why this is true is we can figure out some of the coefficient in the characteristic polynomial. So the characteristic polynomial of A would have minus 1 uh, to the n, x to the n. Um, the second term is going to be trace. term will be the determinant. So once you have this, you can prove 1 and 2 easily. We will not. And then the second proposition I want um, goes the other way. If I have an upper triangular matrix, I don't have to work hard to find the eigenvalues. So I have an upper triangular, so everything below the diagonal is zeros. So every entry below the diagonal is zero. Um, then the eigenvalues of this matrix are pretty easy to find. They're the diagonal entries. So the eigenvalues A R A11 A sorry my bad. This entry should be A22. Um, A11 A22 A N N period. 
right? So in that case, you don't have to work too hard. Um, the eigenvalues are in plain sight. All right, let's do one example. I'm going to assume I have an n by n matrix and I know it's characteristic polynomial. So let's say we know the characteristic polynomial is this one. All right, first question. So I told you it was an n by n matrix. I claim we can do better now. What's the size of a? The size is the top degree of the characteristic polynomial. So n equals the degree of p a of x, which is 3. You get one x for each row, so if you get x3, you have three rows. All right, second question, what's the trace? All right, so we'll get the trace from the second coefficient, so in this case, the coefficient of x squared, so minus 1, 3 minus 1 times trace of a equals 8. That means trace of a equals 8. Um, what's the determinant? Well, we're told the determinant is the constant term, so that's pretty straightforward. It's going to be equal to 4 in this case. So determinant of A is the constant term, which is 4. Final question, is A invertible? Well, we have its determinant. We know it's invertible. The determinant's not 0, so in this case, it is invertible.